Hey guys, it's Andy here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this wire sculpture of a skull. Nice. I've been working on a collection of various wire sculptures recently, and this one is one of the more simpler versions. Now, it did take quite a while to solder together, and boy oh boy, do I hate soldering irons. But either way, I still think it looks pretty cool. So I began by drawing out a simple skull on the computer. Annoyingly, my printer ran out of black ink, so I had to do it in orange, not that it really matters. As you can see, I printed it out big enough so it would fit on this 6x8 piece of wood. Once the skull was cut out, I used white tack to stick it to the centre of the wood and then drew around it. I then hammered some of these tiny 15mm nails onto the key angles of the outline. Once I had the nails in place, I then cut off the top part of the skull, making sure to go around the two inner lines. The template can be now put back into position, allowing me to draw the inner details. There we go. I then did the same thing so I could draw around the top half of the eyes. I can now use the two lines as a guide to draw around the fully cut out eyes. I prefer to use this technique over tracing as it's a lot more precise. And also because I'm pretty crap at tracing and drawing and stuff. Once I'd done the same thing with the nose and the jawline, it was time to add more nails. I added the nails to the points where I thought it would be most easy to solder the wire together. For wire, I'm using this 1.6mm wide roll of garden wire. It's quite tough, so you'll need some pliers and some brute strength to bend it into shape. Some of the pieces I needed to straighten before I bent them into shape. To do this, I attached the wire to a drill and then used a cloth to bend the wire to an angle whilst brushing it upwards as the wire spins. This technique will perfectly straighten out the wire. There we go. It was then just a simple matter of bending the wire into the shape of the lines that I'd drawn. To get the wire into the perfect shape, I'm always looking directly from above whilst bending it. I made sure the wire was in contact with each of the nails, but also leaving enough room that I could add another piece of wire to the other side of the nail. To hold the wire in position whilst soldering, I used these helping hands. Now these things are really useful and will help you out in many different projects. I'm beginning to feel like I'm at the dentist. Okay, time to solder those ends. Now the solder that I'm using is cored with flux. This means I don't have to coat the joints with flux before doing the business with the soldering iron. Once the wire had cooled down, the helping hands were then removed. Okay, so it did take quite a lot of time piecing this thing together, so it is time for a time lapse. I said time way too many times then.
And eventually, it was complete. I even decided to add some cracks to make it more skull-like. Either way, it looks nice. So there we have it, making a sculpture using wire. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. I'll leave the links down below. And other than that, I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.